So I got the real Avid Smart Torque and Driver Master set here. Now I haven't used this, but I did open it up to put the batteries into the handle of this screwdriver here so you could see that work. And what I'm gonna do is a new concept video here of first five. So this is the first five minutes of using this set. Let me set a timer and then we'll get to it. It's all gonna be one take, no stopping. Starting now. So the case is really cool. It's got some locks right here that slide to lock that case shut. So that way it doesn't come open on you inadvertently. And one thing I've complained about other manufacturers is they'll give you a hook for a pegboard. They did this, but they did this well with style because this hook rotates out of the way. Now it is tough to use this thing, so you don't want to do it very often, but as you can see, there it goes. Works fine. Now for the screwdriver, first screwdriver, like I said, it's lit. So that way you can see what you're doing. Like unlike other screwdrivers where they only put like one light here or one light here, they have lights all the way around here. So that way it really focuses around the area that you're actually trying to use the screwdriver on. You have a stubby. And most importantly, you have the torque. Now the torque is really cool because on this thing, you have the little gauge, it starts at 10, but you can do one inch increments just by turning this handle here. So like you can see, just turn it once and each one is another inch. So both screwdrivers, both these big screwdrivers have this little knob right here. And I'll pull this one out so we don't mess with that. And what happens is you can take this little stubby, put it on there, and you can use this as additional leverage for turning the screwdriver. So if you have a tight screw, I mean, you know that you're trying to push down and turn. This thing, I can just push my, my, all my force down and I can turn just using this. Now, the back of this bezel actually turns so that way as you're pushing, you can see the screwdriver will turn in my palm without, you know, gouging into my palm. Now, the bits. Bits are a little bit different than we've seen out of other sets. We grab one out of another set here. The bits are black oxide coated versus your standard bit. You can see that it's kind of silver here. So the black oxide coated gives you a little bit more rust prevention. So as you can see, these ones are not gonna rust quite like these ones will. Not that I've had a whole lot of problems with other bits rusting but if you're in a wet area, why not have the black oxide coating? Now I have a cheap scope right here. Um, I like to call it a CAC, C-A-C, and I'll put what that means up on the screen. So as you can see, I can work on these. There's the stubby screwdriver, and this one is really tight to try to get off. So let's... Uh, see what I can do. Now this vise is mounted pretty high. There, look at that. That worked awesome. So there's it tightened again. <laughs> I really like that idea. That's awesome. So I'm hoping you can see on the, on the uh, camera up above, I have this thing lit up get my hands out of the way there. So you can see that the work area is lit up there. Turn that off. And as you can see, that light is all the way around. So that's really cool. So now let's get to this torque driver set here. And I have this thing set to 10, which is really light and you can hear. There's those clicks. 
Now it only torques in one direction. And then in the last 20 seconds here, this case has a magnetic parts tray right there and right there. So that way, if you have some screws you don't want to lose, there you go. You're not going to have them rolling around on your bench. And I really like this set. This thing is really cool. Um, it has just about all the bits that you'd need. And there's five minutes. What do you think about the driver set here from Real Avid? I really kind of dig this set. Um, I really can't wait to get into, well, some heavier duty things than just working on a cheap scope here. Let's hear you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.